What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Pizza, and I'm back with more Fate Grand Order. It's time to continue on in Lost Belt number four. So my plan of action is to hopefully get through section five. Uh, that way I can say I got through 25% of it. Uh, yeah, because there's only 20 sections, though there are considerable amounts to them. But yeah, when I at least say I got through section five to say for my first outing that I managed to get through 25% of the Lost Belt. So, uh... Yeah, let's do this. A mountain where one where one where one encounters God. Comforting. Is it the God or a God? <laughs> That's still funny that that was a distinction. You know, the the God. All right. This is the mountain Asha told us about. So far, I'm not seeing the god we're looking for. I don't detect a servant reading from here. What can you sense? I think I can sense something akin to divine aura, but it's too faint to be certain. I sense it too. At least we would seem to be on the right track. Let's keep looking around. Hey! Is anyone here? Sita! It's me! Rama? Hara? Yeah, just keep yelling for whatever you're looking for. You don't know if it's a good guy or not. Ugh. This is getting us nowhere. We should split up and cover more ground. That is very true. I can fly by using my wind fire wheels. I will search from the skies above. Uh, p please don't go, uh, don't go off too far, Neza. We don't know what else might be here. Do you think she'll be okay? Don't worry, she's a venerated hero in her own right. I'm sure she'll be fine. She said it herself, she's somewhat similar to us in certain ways. I do agree that her tendency to rush headlong toward her goals with a single-minded earnestness has the potential to cause trouble. But I also doubt there are few who can keep up with her sheer airborne maneuverability. Besides, it seems we have our own things to worry about. Yeah, figures there'd be a monster or two hanging around the mountain where the god lives. Think you guys could take these things out quickly so you can get back to looking for them, please? One quick monster fight later. Have you disposed of all the hostiles, then? Yes, it was no problem. I don't think the Ortonax has ever been in better shape. It's so much more stable now than it was before we came to the, before we came to the Wandering Sea. Not only does it have properly outfitted equipment now, but having both Da Vinci and Sion fine-tune it like it is like... This one proverb I heard a while ago, having an oak... Giving an ogre a heavy weapon? Something's not right. Uh, I knew it. I thought it sounded strange as soon as the words left my mouth. Kintoki's the one who taught me that expression, but I think something might have gotten lost in translation. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with Japanese sayings either. I was speaking about our enemies. They are indeed all gone. But there is still something else here. Something whose intentions I cannot discern. Uh, translation? There. Show yourself. The dust cleared to show? A human with a sublimely beautiful body. Oh my god, yes. Finally, I was wondering when he'd show up. Oh my god, yes. A body with perfect symmetry, as if it were the epitome of genderless beauty. Their lips curved in an indomitable and amicable smile. Even after Karna's spear, spear sailed past them. Grazing at their side and obliterating a boulder with sufficient force to impale a hundred frail-bodied humans. They were smiling. By the way, after you needs to do this more, adopt this style of actually describing crap. Because that goes a long way to helping sell your story. They were smiling with the same casual ease as a person enjoying a gentle breeze at an outdoor cafe. 
their face betraying not so much a hint of fear or panic. It was as though they had not just had... Uh, they had not just had not a care in the world. God, I hate that sentence. Even after being millimeters from death. My, my, my. Since when is a servant supposed to go tossing spears at fragile little humans? Were you a normal human, I would indeed be deeply ashamed. But I sense such an attack would not nearly be enough to end you. Now that I have seen you for myself, I am even more confident in that asserta assertion. Well, doesn't that just smack of a bit of ex post facto covering your derriere, honey? I thought I'd ha hidden myself pretty well, so imagine my surprise when that spear went whizzing past me! Oh well, that's what I get for not being more careful about investigating strange noises. Your... Your... Pepperosino. Pe Pepperoncino? God, that name will never not be funny either. Hey, long time no see, Mashy. Oh my, you are so much more expressive now than you were the last time I saw you. Well, I think that's just peachy. That is definitely a way to end a section. <laughs> the moment I saw that thing soaring across the sky, I was overcome with emotion. Loathing as foul and putrid as excrement, rage so hot it could blind me, and above all, some thing I couldn't ignore no matter how hard I tried. Which is why, which is why, I had to destroy it no matter what. W what? Who are... Oh, Nessa doesn't look like she's uh, having a good time. Scandinavia, Pepperoncino. You're one of the cryptos. What is that word? Abs... Absatively? Did he combine absolutely and positively? Not gonna even try to pronounce that. At least not in his voice, I'd fuck it up so hard. And you must be Kjelda's new director! As for you... Why, you must be Mashy's master, Vane! Ye. Oh my, how forthcoming of you! I like that. God, I have so looked forward to Pepperoncino. Pepperoncino is like the only cryptor I have given a damn about, except for maybe Beryl. But I care about Beryl for a different reason. Beryl strikes me as the kind of guy who's like, eh, fuck it, I'm kind of bored, I thought I'd stab you in the ribcage. Eh, it provided a few minutes of entertainment, but I'm kind of bored right now, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna keep stabbing you. And that kind of like, ludicrous, outlandish, just violence. <laughs> sake uh for the sake of violence kind of thing whereas pepperosino has like this he's obviously supposed to be evil but you can even get across it in his uh in his dialogue that he's supposed to be oh so flamboyant just full of cheer everywhere he goes so much personality and i love that as opposed to <laughs> fuck all of these nothing's is as i want it to be or Ophelia and her, uh, mages are evil and I have the worst luck. Uh, the fire giant loves me or some shit. And then Akuda. God, I hate Akuda. God, I hate. Akuda was like the exact low point of fucking Lost Belt 3. Anyways, if you're here, Pepperosino, then. You must be the cryptor in charge of this lost belt, aren't you? Mm, yes, I suppose I am. So, you're here to stop us from cutting down the tree of emptiness. I don't... <laughs> your silence betrays your intent. All right! Almost slipped my mind. Before we do that whole song and dance, there's something I really should warn you about. Oh, and what is that? Don't get me wrong, I'm perfectly happy to sit here and chat with you. Chat with you all you like. But 
Maybe you should be a little more concerned about your absent friend right now. Huh? What are you talking about? What is? Look out! Something's plummeting right towards you. They're servants! One of them's Naza, but her vital signs are dropping like a rock. And the other one is... is... what in the world? Hi, Naza. Naza! Master, it's Naza, but her body is... I... failed. I was... careless. Master, I'm sorry. This is... beyond terrible. It would... be one thing if... I had... only lost... but this... Master, I'm so... sorry. I wish... I could have helped you more. Well, that happened. I think it's the first time we've ever actually lost a ser well, lost a servant like that. I know we've lost other servants, but most of them have been like, you know, self-righteous suicide kind of lost. Keep your guard up, master. We can mourn for her later. Those dust clouds are clearing away and whoever killed Nessa is about to step out. What the fuck? Huh? Neza? I'm afraid not. Yes, that is Neza, but she is not the one we knew. No. I will be direct. The Neza you know is gone. Her spirit origin has completely vanished. The Neza before you now is not the one summoned at the Wandering Sea, nor the one who was once present at Kialda. I suspect that servant there is a different side of Neza, and an enemy who serves this lost belt. Report. Individual exercise complete. Hereby returning my duty as a divine general. Eliminating foreign elements. Commencing operation. I have a report to make. That tall man is gone. I didn't even see him leave. That's concerning too, but we don't have time to go looking for him now. I don't know if this Neza is his servant or not, but her intentions couldn't be more hostile. We'll have to focus on dealing with her first. Here she comes, Master. And Mash, I know how you feel right now, but you need to get your heads in the game. R right. Disengaging Ortonax limiters, preparing for full-powered anti-servant combat. System. オルチェック。ミノンが使用から。
勝負に危険も切り札もいらぬただ従前に整え当然に勝つ者必ずの陣破れる者だ抜刀突撃
mano en todo. とっておきのご会長と行こうか。混沌に仕切って、冷血に毒、落ちぬ際な隙もない。とくと我が策ご老次郎、必ず落ちん。いかにも、嘆き花火、ベイルド、これが私の。痛みを嘆きを奏でるベイルドこれが私のやつ私は魔女じゃない Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.